Hello. If you used WordPress 4, you'll expect the post editor to look like this with all these easy to understand formatting buttons. It's a bit like a word processor. But if you upgrade to WordPress 5 with the new block editor, they're calling it Gutenberg, you'll see something quite different. So first of all, what we'll do, I'll make a new post. And the first thing we notice is all the buttons have disappeared but it's not as complicated as it seems. So we'll add a title. Now, underneath the title, you'll see this where it says start writing or type forward slash to choose a block. This is really worth remembering. All you need to do, click in here, type a forward slash, and you'll see this list of common blocks and you can choose most things in here. There's the headline, there's image, quotes, things like that. If you just start typing, you don't put a forward slash, just start typing in there, that's a paragraph block. If you add a paragraph block, you can then change it by hovering over the block, choosing the first option, change block type, and you can change it to a limited number of other types of blocks. Once you've typed your paragraph or added an image, you'll see these options appear above the block. And these are the formatting options. For the paragraph, we could center align the text, make it bold. Or we could make it italic, add a link, things like that. You've also got these three dots and these let you insert another block above this block, another block below this block. You can edit the block as HTML, or if you want to, you can add this as a reusable block so you can use it again. But that's a bit advanced for this tutorial. Now, if you look here in the sidebar of the post editor, we've got two tabs. We've got the document tab, and we've got the block tab. You've got to select a block before you'll see the settings for the block tab. And the document tab are things like your permalink, your featured image, if you want to add a featured image to your post, all those sort of settings are now in this sidebar. But don't forget there's two tabs and you won't see the block settings until you select a block. Now we've got this paragraph block already inserted. I'm going to align it to the left. What I want to do now is to add an image block below this block. Now the easiest way to do that, select the block, choose the three dots, insert after. Now I could type a forward slash there and that would give me a list of common options, common blocks. What I'm going to do, click this little add block. Now you've got to hover over the side to see the block. Click add block and now I've got all these options and you can expand each one and see what's inside. I want to insert a common block which is image and then I just need to upload the image or I can drag an image onto this page. So I'll just drag an image in Then with images, you've got more options. You see this is full width, wide width, or you've got centered. Not all themes can show a full width image, but in this one we can. So we'll click that and then I'll click publish. We'll just have a look and see what that looks like. If we scroll down, see how wide the image is. It fills the full screen. Now not all themes can do that. It depends on the theme you're using. This is 2019 which is the default theme for WordPress and they've made it so that it works well with the block editor. Now we'll go back to the to edit the post and we'll just add one more block just so you've got a good idea of how it works. So choose the block, the three buttons, insert after this time I'm going to insert a quote. Now there are two types of quotes. If I type a forward slash, 
there's a just a standard quote but I want to insert a pull quote so if I move my cursor to the left add block and I want a pull quote now you could search through all the options but I know it's called a pull quote so I can choose it by searching and all I need to do type my quote in there and because it's a quote I get to write the citation under the quote just the name of the person who uh, gave the quote and over in this sidebar I can choose some styles now it depends entirely on which block you're using as to what styles are available with this block which is the pull quote I can add a background I can make it wider width and I can change the colour of the text I want it to be like that white text on a blue background so I'll update and then I'll preview and see what it looks like so now we've got the wide image and I'll quote underneath we'll just have a quick recap of what we've learned the old post editor in WordPress 4 looked like this but if you've upgraded to WordPress 5 and you've chosen to use the block editor called Gutenberg your new post editor will look like that there are different ways to add information you type your title in the top there as if by magic and then where it says start writing I'll type a forward slash to choose a block just type a single forward slash it's near the bottom of your keyboard and that will give you the basic options the basic blocks you can use just click any of these if you want to add an image click image if you want to add a quote click quote if you just want to type a paragraph you don't need to type that forward slash just start typing then when you lift your cursor up you'll see these extra formatting buttons some of them will include a width button and some of them won't so it's, it depends on which block you're using as to whether you've got the option of a wide width or a full width block and don't forget you've got the document settings and the block settings in the sidebar the document settings are things like your featured image and which category you want to categorize the post with and the block settings are the settings for the individual block and you won't see those until you click inside an actual block so you click in, click in the block here we click block no block selected select a block and then the options become available and they're specific for that block that you've clicked inside to add a block above or below this block just click the three buttons you'll have to first of all you'll have to click inside a block click the three buttons and you can insert a block before or you can insert a block after the block you're dealing with there are quite a lot of blocks built into the new WordPress editor but if you want to you can add more blocks by adding plugins or changing your theme one of the most popular plugins to add more blocks to the editor is called atomic blocks and that adds all kinds of extra blocks such as a post grid a container testimonials uh, accordion and a call to action block the call to action block is useful most almost every site has a use for a call to action block this is a call to action block And these call to action blocks can only be added if you add a plugin such as the atomic blocks plugin they might become part of wordpress core eventually but at the moment you need a plugin like atomic blocks just to do these fancy blocks like the uh, the call to action blocks the ones i've been showing you in the video you can do using the basic wordpress editor well that's it for this video i'd hope to make it in five minutes but i haven't achieved that the important point to remember is things like the width options depend on the theme you're using so your theme might not have a full width option and things like the styling of block quotes or whatever that'll depend on your theme too 
my advice would be try to learn the basics first once you understand the basics of how this new post editor works it's really good and it doesn't take long just to learn the basic skills of how it uh, how it actually works then move on to the more fancy stuff and there's an awful lot you can do with a block editor anyway i'll leave it there thanks for watching and bye for now